The YouTube channel Brawl BRSTMS3 has been hacked by a Chinese IPS address and as of now there is no way for the owner of the channel to gain back his channel. Right now he has created a new temporary channel that might be a permanent channel if he does not gain his channel back. For more information about his situation, follow him on Twitter at Brawl BRSTMS. If he has any accounts from any other social media websites and it has not been compromised, please tell me and I will link the account into the description as well. I was just going to let this news spread out and I highly recommend telling as many people as possible about his situation in order to gain his support. But then the hacker has to respond to the whole fiasco and pretend that both his Twitter and his new YouTube account has been compromised and that the Brawl BRSTMS3 channel is the actual channel. The following says, This channel was not compromised. Rather, the official Twitter account for Brawl BRSTMS slash Smash Custom Music was hacked and is being used to redirect traffic to a new channel that the hacker has to ma- Are you fucking serious? This lying piece of shit? Ugh. Ads may show videos due to copyright claims by the relevant copyright owners- Oh, bull fucking shit! Bull and shit! You're trying to cover your ass up with excuses in order to confuse people that you displaying ads is because of the publishing video game maker? Alright, well, explain this. If there are some ads that may be displayed, then why is it that every single video you just happen to upload contain an advertisement? Even the ones that are literally impossible for YouTube to automatically detect. A requirement for an automated audio to be detected has to be longer than 10 seconds, yet here it is plain as day that some of these songs you placed clearly show below 10 seconds, and yet they're still monetized. Jeez, it's as if the videos were manually monetized by the uploader. Furthermore, if you claim that the new channel is the hacker's channel, and he's trying to gain ad revenue from unsuspected YouTubers, how come none of his videos are monetized? Seriously, I checked the guy. There are no ads on any of his videos. So what you have claimed is already muted because it's not true. But let's just assume that these videos are somehow actually automated to include ads because of a company initiated and automated a copyright claim using YouTube servers. Alright then, let's try to do a test. I'm going to play six randomly selected songs from the channel and put them into this very own video. Now this may get pretty repetitive, and if you do get the idea that these songs are proof enough to call the hackers bullcrap, feel free to skip to this part of the video. Otherwise, the next 15 to 18 minutes or so will be nothing but songs being played taken from the source of each video. If this experiment works, notice how my video does not have any advertisements, while the video shown on the hackers channel does run ads.
Now, unless you've been using Adblock, there have been no ads that ran on this video. Yet the video I showed you ran ads. Practically every single video on this channel has ads. Check fucking mate. So in this situation, what do we do? Well, with YouTube services being pretty piss poor lately, it's difficult, but there are a few easy things that we can help with the situation. First off, spread the word. By doing so, more people will be aware about the situation and more people will come up with solutions to fix the situation. As of now, the hacker has made it so that there is only approved comments display. So voicing your opinion would be meaningless if you do it on the hack channel. But there are plenty of other social media services you can do, including other YouTube channels as well. You can inform more popular YouTubers, smashers, anyone who can spread the word and allow the rightful owner of the channel to get it back. Who knows, maybe a YouTube representative can see this and actually do something about it as well. As long as we continue to spread this information, then the problem will be more self-aware. Second, if you are subscribed to the channel, unsubscribe immediately. Do not subscribe back until the rightful owner of the channel gets his channel back. I've actually recorded the runtime of his subscriber feed on real time, and so far he has actually gained subscribers by the minute. Do not let this happen. Unsubscribe immediately. Do not subscribe back until the rightful owner of the channel gets his channel back. If you don't know when his channel is properly fixed for the time being, follow him on Twitter to follow the news. Third, do not watch any of BRSTM's videos. Of course, there is one exception to this rule, and that is if you're using ad blocker. Now, I'm not the type of person who would necessarily promote blocking ads, especially to YouTubers who are making a living out of ad revenue, but this is a very good exception. By using ad blocker, ads won't be displayed, and with ads not being displayed, no money is being accumulated. You can still enjoy your music without having to worry about giving money to some scumbag. Fourth, when possible, dislike the videos. This may sound strange and time consuming, and it may be difficult to do since there are a bunch of them, but the easiest countermeasure is to go to the most popular videos on the channel and spam the dislike bar. The reason for this is so that it doesn't get more recognition. YouTube has an algorithm where they will not promote any videos with more dislikes than like ratios. Now of course this will not work with big wig companies who can pay YouTube to promote their videos, but because we're not working with someone like Activision or Sony, disliking each and every video with the most views should be relatively easy. Now in the case of him disabling likes and dislikes, it's still possible to dislike the video. I repeat, it's still possible to dislike the video. While we won't know exactly how many times the videos has likes or dislikes, YouTube will still keep track of it regardless. Yeah, I know it's weird, but surprisingly, disabling ratings doesn't actually disable ratings. I actually tested this too. I liked a video from a YouTuber gotten... named Far From Subtle who has removed the viewing of ratings for all of his Just recent videos. And guess what? Is. There was an automated notification that explains I liked one of his videos despite quote unquote disabling ratings. So yes, it's still possible to dislike the video even when it's not reviewing the ratings. And with that said, hopefully you guys can be more educated about the situation. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for listening and Custom Smash Music, I bid you good luck on solving the issue. Oh, and I almost forgot one thing. About the uploading privileges I did on your website, I apologize for breaking the rules. I have deleted any and all music loops that have violated any of the rule set, which includes uploading songs that's not originated from a video game, uploading a licensed music, or anything from Project M. Sorry for the trouble.